Hello and welcome to the 2014 Hillsdale College Baseball Preview. My name is Jenna Hilgenbrink and I'm joined today by head coach Eric Tyson. Welcome. Hi Jenna. All right, so you were just announced as head coach last summer. So what kind of challenges or surprises have you had, you know, in the transition between assistant coach and head coach? Uh, you know, surprises, I, I would say the surprise is how, how much easier my supporting staff has made it on me, the, the transition specifically. Um, we, we've added a couple coaches to the staff, and uh, and we've got a we've got a student assistant as well, and their ability to specialize and take certain things off of my plate has been huge. Um, the transition it's it's kind of a unique transition. Um, with me being here for for three years prior to being hired, and recruiting the the freshman, sophomore, and junior classes this year. You know the senior class is the only class that I didn't have a part in the recruiting process for. But this is my fourth year coaching them as well. So there wasn't that transition period of, of getting to know a new group or the, the group getting to know me. That had already, been, that had already taken place. Um, and, you know, the expectations were already there. They knew what to expect out of me. I knew what to expect out of them. So it's really been a unique and, and fairly simple transition process. I'm really thankful that, that it ended up being, being that way because it, we, it allowed us to kind of hit the ground running when we started in the fall. Must have been very smooth then. You know, you knew exactly what it takes to be an assistant coach, and now you got all that support. So speaking of assistant coach, I hear you hired your father, Gordy, as your new assistant coach. Tell yeah, me what that's been yeah, like. Yeah, I think I've only fired him four or five times <laughs> since we started. But no, it's, it's been unbelievable. You know, he was, a, he was a, a college head coach for 16 years, and he's been the pitching coach at Adrian College. He was the head coach at Siena Heights when I grew up. Um, you know, and, and I grew up seeing in the dugout. I grew up in the dugout with him, so nothing has really changed. It's nice to get back there. We haven't been in the dugout together for a long time, and naturally a lot of my philosophies come, come from him, and, and, and they're really similar. So, um, you know, talking about the transition process again, that, that also made the transition process much easier, I think, for our pitchers and our catchers and, and for him, because since our, since our philosophies are so similar, um, a lot, we use a lot of the same terminology, and so with him coming in, the pitchers kind of had already done a lot of the things that, that he likes to do. Um, and, and so for them, you know, he's, he's a little bit better of a pitching coach than, than I am. So it's great, you know, and, and the other thing is that there, there aren't a whole lot of people I think I would have trusted handing the pitchers over to uh, after spending three full years with them and, and really getting to know them and making the improvements that we've made. So I, th I think he's probably the only one I'd have been able to to do that and feel comfortable with it. You know that they say baseball is a pretty nostalgic sport, and so you yeah. got your dad there. You got all that history behind it. You grew up playing with him. That sounds so nice, to be yeah, honest with you. Absolutely. Now let's talk about the team for a minute here, especially the freshmen. How are they going to fit into your already existing team? You know, that's already been established pretty much. Well, we've got a small freshman class this year, so it's, there's, there's four guys, um, and we've got Eric Schenken and Jared Piper. They, they give us a lot of speed and a lot of versatility. They have both been kind of flip-flopping and transitioning as infielders and outfielders. So they add to our depth defensively and uh, especially offensively with their speed. They give us the ability to, to make some specific personnel changes in, in key situations. So they're going to add to our depth and give us some options there. And uh, Ethan Whisker and, and Jake Lee, those guys are going to come in. They're both two-way players. They both pitch and play a position. Um, and they both got strong arms and, and a good bat, so we feel like they're going to make an impact right away. So they've, uh, they've all fit in very, very well. Um, they've come into to a culture where these guys play hard, and they play hard because they enjoy it, not because they're told to play hard. And, uh, and the freshmen, they, they've come in and, and jumped right on board, and it's been, it's been pretty smooth. It's really good to see that go get them attitude. You know, yeah, everybody absolutely. who really wants yeah. to win, that's yeah, awesome. That's great. Um, now, as far as your already existing team, uh, kind of the players who are coming back over the years, uh, who are going to be the key ones on the mound and on the field? Um, on the mound, we're returning um, Matt Reck, who last year was out with an ACL injury, um, and the year before he had kind of come, come into his own and, and really kind of established himself as somewhat of an ace. And so we missed out with him last year being out with his ACL injury. So it's great to be able to have him back. Um, we've got sophomore Lucas Hamelink and, and junior Shane Armstrong back as well. And those guys are a great one-two punch. And they have a lot of innings under their belts already, even as young guys. Um, Jacob Gardner had a really, really good fall. We expect him to, to be a reliable asset for us out of the bullpen. 
and uh, along with along with a lot of other guys. Um, one of the really exciting things is that we've got uh, career saves leader Dan Pachmera back, um, and he's only a junior, and and he's gotten really comfortable with the closer role. Uh, he's got a bulldog mentality. He fits the role, um, and he's good at it. And and you can really tell watching him. You can tell that he loves to close. He loves that role, and so that's that's going to be really exciting to have him back in that role too. Um, defensively, our our outfield. Is going to be young, and they, they're all returning. We've got uh, we've got a strong arm in, in Connor Bartlett in right field, and uh, and we've got some good leadership and, and some good range in Luke Ortel in center, and uh, Tad Sobozanski actually split time kind of with Connor Bartlett last year in left field, so it's going to be nice to see him to be able to roam around out there in the outfield and get some more innings and get some more at bats this year. Um, in the infield, Vinny Delicata, junior, you know, our junior captain. Uh, he's he's really the leader there, and and it's nice. It's it's been great. He's he's had a lot of improvement in the last couple of years, and he's really starting to to come into his own as a player and as a leader. And uh, and, and then behind the plate with with Sean Bennett and Lincoln Reed, it's going to be nice to be able to kind of platoon those guys. They're going to be able to, to allow each other to to keep their legs fresh um, and split some time there there that way. So it's uh, it's really exciting. You know, we've got an odd mix of. Of, of youth and experience, a lot of our young guys uh, had had they played a lot as freshmen and sophomores. So um, a lot of our upperclassmen now are uh, you know they're coming back with a lot of innings under their belts, and and so we've got a lot of youth and experience, and so it's a it's an interesting combination. It should be fun. Talk about the leaders for a minute here. I know they've got great personalities, you know, kind of the leadership personality. They're all good guys. So tell me a little bit about the captains and what they're going to do for your team, kind of as a morale standpoint. I'll tell you what, we have we have far more leaders than uh, than the number of captains that we have, you know. And uh, the really cool thing is is that those guys, they don't necessarily, you know, they're not pegging themselves as above anyone else. The, the coolest thing about our team is that they're all teammates, and they love each other, and they want to see each other succeed more than anything. And that's one of the things that makes them really, really fun to watch. Um, so the leadership is kind of contagious, and it spreads, and you can see a lot of leadership in other guys who aren't necessarily captains as well. Um, they, they all seem to, to play hard a lot and they seem to really enjoy when their teammates succeed and, uh, and that just creates a good atmosphere. They're really fun to watch. Um, you know, they're, they're, always, they're always dirty, they're always running around, they're like a bunch of kids out there. And you can see it from the outside looking it, in. Yeah, I it's, mean, it's so easy to see. It's, it's important, that's important. It's, you know, it's a kid's game and, and, and you got to enjoy playing it and, uh, and I think the fact that they, play, that they do play so hard makes it that much more enjoyable to watch. Absolutely. So now, finally, all this practice is going to come into play when you guys go to Florida. So aside from winning the games, what are your goals for the team on that trip? On that trip, that's going to be a, that's going to be a fun trip. We play we play twelve nine inning games in eight days, and uh, what that does, you know, with our conference play, when we get back and we start playing conference games, one out of every three conference games are nine innings. Um, it's really important for us to be able to get those nine inning games in and get that experience because. When the postseason hits, they're all nine inning games, and you can have a schedule where you're playing that many nine inning games uh, in that ki on that kind of schedule in that in that time span. So it's going to be really important. It's going to be really nice for us to be able to get down there and do that, uh, especially in the nice weather. Exactly. And um, you know, we've got a couple back to back nine inning game doubleheaders. We've got a couple day night doubleheaders, which will be really cool. And uh, it's it's going to be a good trip. Our our goals are are what they always are. They're to control what we can control. And uh, you know we want to throw first pitch quality strikes. We want to get ahead of guys. We want to let our defense do the work, pick it up, and throw them out. And uh, and and we're going to see some some good aggressive approaches at the plate and hitting balls on the barrel and, and playing hard. That's awesome. And you know it's going to be your first trip down there as head coach. Yeah. So you kind of get a moment to to kind of instill your own theories and your own practices in the team. So what would you say is your philosophy to winning baseball games? Kind of as an overall theme for your team. Well, yeah, you know, I mentioned controlling the things that we can control and. Two of the things that we talk about all the time are, are, you know, we call the two controllables are attitude and effort, and uh, and it hasn't been difficult at all for our guys to pick that up and, and, and run with it. As a matter of fact, you know, a lot of them, uh, most of them, it had already been the culture before. But um, bringing a good attitude to the to the ballpark every day makes it more enjoyable for everybody else and uh, and yourself as well. And so. So our, our guys just going out there and having fun and being themselves and allowing their personalities to come out in the way they play. Um, it's, it's fun for them, I think, and it's fun to watch. 
and and as far as as far as the effort goes, you know we touched on that already. They play hard because they because they love it, and so it's it's nice it's it's great to see 100 percent 100 percent of the time, and it uh, you know it definitely keeps us coaches on our toes too. What are you looking forward to most? Warm weather, and getting down there on the field. I've been saying for the last couple of weeks, I'm ready to get on the bus. Yeah, it's you know, we, cool we've here. got a lot to work on still with our indoor practices, um, and, and so you know, we we've got to get rolling on that stuff. But uh, I think mentally, everybody is is ready to get on that bus and get going. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me, Coach, Thanks, and thank you for watching. We'll see you again next time.